Welcome to Trinity Downtown's Lenten video devotion. You know, we talk a lot about how Jesus would want us to treat other people. But in this Lenten series, we're going to be looking at how Jesus treated the people in his neighborhood, because that's the perfect model for how we are to treat the people in our neighborhood, whether it's where you work, play, or live. So we pray that you'll be blessed by this series and touched by God's Word. In the name of Jesus, amen, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. People in the neighborhood of Jesus. Holy Saturday, things had settled down. Joseph of Arimathea. People in the neighborhood of Jesus. People who love Jesus mourning his death, the women watching where they put the stone, thinking about coming and anointing the body at a later time. So we are grateful and thankful to think about this on this uh, Joseph of Arimathea. He was a leader. He went to the Pilate and said, I would like to take and have the body of Jesus. And so he did that. And he took that body and he put it into his own tomb. And they put a, a big stone in front of it. And uh, that was what he did at that time of death, where he became a helper to help get things done there. Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the, of, of the, of the Sanhedrin, a member of the people there, leadership of the group but also people living in our neighborhood, our neighbors, they also have times of death. They also have times of mourning. And so as we approach this Easter Saturday and as we approach the Easter Sunday, well, for me personally, every year I've been here, I've walked over to our cemetery and I've walked through that cemetery on Easter Eve to remind me of the people there, their, the, the, how they served the Lord, uh, the different things that happened in their hearts and lives. It's a story after story after story after story. They're the neighbors of Jesus. They're our neighbors too. And may we also uh, remember and be thankful for that. And uh, as we have our neighbors and friends that have gone through this, helping him to walk through the time of death, helping him to understand this, and above all, making sure that they understand and appreciate the message of, of, of Easter. We're, we're not, we're singing of Good Friday, is says, O sorrow, dread, God's son is dead. That's what the hymn says. O sorrow, dread, God's son is dead. But we're about ready now to be able to sing, Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is risen today. And we're grateful for that good message that we have as we can conclude these Lenten devotions and launch into the great day of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? But thanks be to God who gives us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And may we who on this uh, Holy Saturday uh, consider and think about the cemetery in the days when Jesus is going to come and open up that grave. Look forward to that Sunday morning trek with the, the disciples as they had that uh, early uh, race to the tomb, uh, to the message of the angel, Waisiki, the living among the dead. He's not here. He's risen. 
Go quickly and tell. That's been the bottom line of all these messages. Go quickly and tell wherever they are, wherever the people are, wherever they're in your neighborhood. Tell people that Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead. I bring to you that which is first importance, that Apostle Paul says, that Christ died for our sin, according to the scripture, that he was buried. He was really dead, dead, dead. He was raised on the third day, according to the scripture. Then he was seen of James. He was seen of over 500 people. Some had fallen asleep and died. He was seen of Cephas. Then it was, then it was oh, Paul said, I saw him myself. Then he goes on to say, O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. It's not in vain being in the neighborhood close to Jesus. It's not in vain. In the name of Christ, Christ is risen He's risen indeed. Hallelujah. And now, the very joyous, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. The peace of God that surpasses all, all understanding. Amen. <laughs>